I know you see it all over the place, personalized products. What is a personalized product? So when it comes to Etsy, which is the primary platform that I sell on, it's practically being able to give the customer the option to personalize something. So for example, this right here is an anniversary shirt and you are able to change the date that's on here, the number on it, right? So anytime a customer orders the shirt, they have to type in the year that they need for the shirts. So for example, this one says 2012, but in some instances, it might be 2018 or it might even be 1998 and that's some personalization option and when it comes to handling a personalized order you have to have the ability to change it before the order is submitted especially if you're doing print on demand so i'm going to show you how we can do it through printify the old-fashioned way the manual way which is what i'm used to and then also the more automated way which we're going to use a software to make this more automatic like something like hello custom which automatically changed the date for you or the anniversary name or address so you can use something like this to make it easier for you so that you don't have to manually go in there and change each and every single one before the order is submitted so first things first when it comes to selling on the marketplace you have to do product research you have to work backwards you have to know what's already selling and then you can use that as inspiration to work from there so since we're already on anniversary shirts let's just go ahead and type in anniversary Let's do gift instead. So maybe we'll end up on a different product. So we'll end up on this page right here. We're on the first page at the moment, we can look for a product that's doing very well. So I'm just looking for something that's a personalized product that we can change. So we can use that as a template. I think we did this one in the previous video, but we can go with this one right here. It says best wife since 2019. And this is really simple. And this should be something that we could easily recreate real fast just for the purpose of the demonstration. So now we are on here, best wife since 2019 i'm gonna go ahead and hop into adobe illustrator or you can use whatever software you prefer to use you could use kittle you can use canva you could use free softwares like photo p there's lots of different design softwares out there but pretty much the basics of everything when it comes to the design portion is all the same so like i said i was going to use adobe illustrator for the design portion but if you don't know by now you can use a print on demand company like printify to actually print and ship the order to your customer for you so all you have to do is just pretty much put your product to market sell it and and don't have to worry about the rest as long as you set it up properly. So I'm just gonna show you this right here. So I'm on Printify, I'm gonna click show additional providers. There's lots of them that you could typically go with. For this one, I'm just gonna go with this. And then the reason why I wanna show you this is because the print area right here, the dimensions is typically right here. So you have 4,500 by 5,100 pixels and 300 DPI. Remember 300 DPI is for print, 72 DPI is for web and what you see on the displays. So now I'm on Adobe Illustrator, I'm gonna type in my dimensions and I'm just gonna create a whole new file. All right, so I'm gonna open up the text tool. I'm just gonna click and type in best Y since 2019. I'm gonna change the font. I'm pretty sure the font was impact. It definitely looked like it. If it's not, it's okay. You can pick whatever font that you really want. A script font will probably look nice with this, but whichever font you feel comfortable, this is just for the demonstration itself. So now you can open up your character box so that you can play around with the letting and all of those things. But let's just go ahead and resize it for now. All right, so now that I have my design, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this as a SVG. Now I'm gonna head on over to Printify and I'm gonna upload a design that I just saved. And there we have it right there once again this is not a design that i recommend you sell i really want you to spice it up think about a design make it look a whole lot nicer even when it comes down to the color options the mock-ups all of those things i really want you to clean it up before you make it go live this is for the demonstration of creating a personalized order and how to submit a personalized order through pinify with or without an automated personalization program so here i am with the title once again you want to make this a whole lot nicer when it comes to being live i'm just doing this for demonstration i'm going to hit publish all right so now you should be live now let's imagine we had an order come in through Printify. All right, so the next thing you'll want to do is go to store settings and click order approval on manual. You don't want the orders to automatically be submitted because if someone places an order, it's only gonna say 2019 on the actual shirt itself. So how are we going to fulfill a personalized order when someone places one? So this is what we're going to do. You go back to your product, you hit duplicate, you'll click on it, and then you'll also come back to your design. And let's say you had a different date that you needed. Now change this to 2013 because the customer ordered 2013. Now I'm going to save this as an SVG and I'm going to name it Best Wife 2013. And now I'm going to click edit design. I'm going to delete this one right here. Now I'm going to upload Best Wife since 2013. Now I'm going to click save product. Okay, so now you can see it says Best Wife since 2013. I'm also going to change this text. I'm going to put 2013 up front, but I'm going to click save as draft. Now, as you can see, it says Best Wife since 2019. That's your published product where customers can see and order the product. But you know, that's just kind of a template that we have. We don't want them to get 
to 2019. We want them to get this one because that's what the customer placed an order for. And now when someone places an order, this is what it's gonna look like. Instead of clicking submit, click edit order, and then you're gonna change the product. So this is the product, the default product that's linked to the product. This is what it's gonna look like. Instead, what I need you to do is delete it, or you can leave it open for now. That way you remember the size and the colors that they chose. So you click add products, and now click on 2013 because that's what they ordered. And then click on the size that they also ordered and the color variation. So now you have this one, the 2013 one, and then you hit delete and then you hit shipping and then make sure all the information is correct. You go to the shipping method page and then you make sure you have the, your right shipping selected and then you hit proceed to payment and submit the order. And that's how you do a personalized product order when it comes to Printify. I know it can be a little bit confusing. That's the best way I know how to do it and I've done thousands of orders that way. So that's how you can do it with Printify. Now here's the more automated way. We already have the product on Printify linked up to our Etsy shop. Now we need to link this software right here up to our website as well. This is called Hello Custom and it's going to automatically instead of us going in there with every single order we get change it to 2013, 2014, 2015. Hello Custom is going to automatically pick up the numbers that the customer typed in and it'll automatically create the design every single time for us. It's like magic. Wow. So at the moment, Hello Custom does names, numbers, dates, and addresses. So I think I do have some kind of coupon link down below, $15 off or something along those lines. But let's go ahead and set up our product. So yours should look something similar to this brand new account. Well, first you'll link it up to your store, but then you'll click add new and then you'll upload the design. Earlier we said as SVG, you'll have to save it as a PDF or you can save it as a PNG as well. And even though it was a PNG, just a flat image, their software still picks it up, which is crazy. All right, so now we can either upload a PNG or a PDF. So we have to go back to our design file and we'll have to make a quick change. So for the design file itself, you probably have all the text right here on one layer. What we need to do is separate the layers. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this right here. And then I'm going to place that on a different layer. So I'm going to put the date on a different layer. So you can do two different layers. That way the text that needs to be changed is on its own layer. Or you could just save it as a PNG in this exact dimensions. And then you can do the text in Hello Custom itself. So you could pretty much do either way. But we'll just go ahead and do, let's do the PDF. So I have the PDF being uploaded. First thing that you want to do is change the title. And then now you see if I click on it, I can see it's two different layers. So now what I'm going to do is click on this one right here. And I don't know why it's center aligned. There we go. Left aligned. Also left aligned that one. All right. So we're going to click on this and you see where it says tags. I'm going to change this to date. Now the Hello Custom software automatically picks up the fact that this is a date. So if this was a name, you want to click name or it's an address. You want to click it's an address. But in this case, it is a date. So we're going to change it to that. And you can upload your own custom fonts. Looks like their software does not have impact. So we will have to upload it. I just now figured that you can see all of this. So right here on the left side, this is where I selected date. So for example, I click this right here and I add the tag of date. So they have address, date, name, and phone number. So I'm going to go ahead and click on date. And then we're going to have to upload the font ourselves. We'll click add and then upload the font. All right, boom. Now it picks it up. I'm just going to hit back. And then now we have the line space all that exactly how you want it to be you can add a stroke if you wanted to but i'm just gonna go ahead and let that be i'm also gonna leave this some more opening just in case some text might push it out too far for example if they typed in like 44 or i'll say 55 or they just happen to type in an extra number it's gonna go outside of the, the spacing and it's gonna i think it's just gonna mess it up a little bit so i'm just really sure to be considerate about that all right so before you click publish as as i just did i forgot you have to click product variants and now you click on that that Printify product that you uploaded and it's going to sync automatically to it. So now when an order is placed, this software is going to pick up that order and it's going to change the date every single time. And now in Hello Custom, there's an approval queue where you can sit there and just approve all the designs. So that way you don't have to sit there and change it yourself. The software will automatically change it for you. All you have to do is just click, yes, this is the right date. So that's exactly how you do a personalized order on Etsy using Printify, using Hello Custom, and even doing it yourself through Printify with Print On Demand. And obviously if you're printing stuff yourself, you already know how to change the date. So the reason why I even made this video is because personalized products does very well online, especially on a platform like Etsy. So if you're showing your sales, make sure you go ahead and add these tools to your arsenal to start adding personalization to your products. If this video helped you out, go ahead and comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.